Welcome to Kaumudi Global. Denouncing the recent cowardly and dastardly attack on a Sikh Gurudwara in Kabul, India on Monday said it is time UN member states condemn hatred against non-Abrahamic religions including Buddhism, Hinduism and Sikhism as well and stop being selective in combating religiophobia. Several blasts tore through Gurudwara Karte Parwan in Kabul's Bagi Bala neighborhood on Saturday killing two persons including a Sikh. The Islamic State terror group has claimed responsibility for the deadly terror attack, calling it an act of support for the Prophet. Speaking at the high-level meeting at the UN General Assembly to mark the commemoration of the first International Day for Countering Hate Speech, India's permanent representatives to the UN Ambassador T. N. Tirumuthi recalled in the 1993 member UN body the attack against Gurudwara Karte Parwan in Kabul's Bagiwala area. India has time and again emphasized that combating religiophobia can never succeed if it continues to be exclusionary and remains restricted to one or two religions only, while completely ignoring the rise in hatred and discrimination against non-Abrahamic religions, including Buddhism, Hinduism and Sikhism, Mr. Tirumurthy said. He said that the June 18 attack on the very day of the International Day for Countering Hate Speech was commemorated is yet another tragic example of an attack against the Sikh religion, this time in Kabul, Afghanistan. The Gurudwara Karte Parwan was attacked, desecrated and damaged. We condemned in the strongest term this cowardly, dastardly attack where lives were tragically lost. It's time the UN member states condemn hatred against non-Abrahamic religions as well and stop from being selective in combating religiophobia, he said. Mr. Tirumurthy emphasized that there cannot be double standards on religiophobias if you truly want to combat hatred. India has consistently called, including at various UN platforms, for concentrated efforts by the international community to combat hate and violence not just against Abrahamic religions, but against all religions including Sikhism, Buddhism and Hinduism. On several occasions in the UN, Mr. Tirumurthy has pointed out that contemporary forms of religiophobia can be witnessed in the increase in attacks on religious places of worship like gurudwaras, monasteries and temples or in spreading of hatred and disinformation against non-Abrahamic religions in many countries. India has said that the shattering of the iconic Bamiyan Buddha by fundamentalists, the terrorist bombing of the Sikh Gurudwara in Afghanistan, where 25 Sikh worshippers were killed in March 2020, and the destruction of Hindu and Buddhist temples in minority cleansing of these religions by countries, call for condemning such acts against these religions also. He said that hate speech is an antithesis of peace, tolerance and harmony. Unfortunately, we continue to witness a rising trend in hate speech. This was particularly evident during the COVID-19 pandemic, he said, adding that India had joined 12 other countries to issue a cross-regional statement on the infodemic in June 2020. In March 2020, at least 25 worshippers were killed and 8 others were injured when a heavily armed suicide bomber entered a prominent Gurudwara in the heart of Kabul in one of the deadliest attacks on the Sikh communities in the strip torn country. In 2018, a suicide bomber struck a gathering in the eastern city of Jalalabad whilst another Gurudwara was attacked in 2020. Since the Taliban took power in Afghanistan last August, it has seen continuing attacks by rival Muslim terrorist groups, Islamic State. I'm Neha signing out. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates.